I wanted to address a couple things directly in regards to the grades that I put in Canvas and Delta Math thus far. When I, a lot of you have been asking, when are you going to put in grades in PowerSchool? This morning, I have entered a bunch of categories for the grades that you've done in Canvas and in Delta Math. Now, there's really only two types of grades you're going to get. You're going to get the Canvas quizzes where you, um, you know, you might have 10 questions or whatever. You submit them. It'll tell you a score at the end, and you can choose to redo it or not. Um, or you're going to have the Delta Math assignments where it kind of incrementally gives you percentages complete until you get it done. Um, that's pretty much going to be the types of assignments. The Canvas quizzes can be done pretty much as many times as you'd like. I'm not taking any points off for, for grades being turned in late up until the end of May. Um, Delta Math, same thing. You can keep working on it until you get it up to 100% no penalizing for grades late. When I go into PowerSchool, I want to show you what I have entered so far. So I just only put in currently the grades up until May 1st because there's a different grading procedure through this week and beyond and, and this is going to take me the better part of today to put most of these grades in so far. So anything from Unit 5, Topic 1, notice the types of labeling here. If it says Canvas Quiz, it's, you know, it's, it's just a 10 to 20 question Canvas Quiz or whatever, submit it. It'll say Delta Math at the front. Um, the due dates are arbitrary, so don't worry about these. I just had a, I put them in sequentially so that they, they pop up in the order that they appear on Canvas. You can go back and make up any of these. A lot of you have already done all of them. So um, I can only put in grades into these if they're complete. I can't put in zeros for them. However, quarter four can basically average with quarter three. So if you're getting a 60 for quarter three and you get all the work done um, in quarter four and you keep redoing it until you get hundreds, you could potentially get that up to an 80. So you can go up a couple letter grades if you're real low. And Regardless of where you are, you, everybody has the opportunity to improve the grade unless they were already at a 100. Um, so I would uh, keep working through all these assignments and uh, start working on the um, stuff that I'm posting new too because that I can start putting in grades lower than an 80 and I can also put in, um, you know, 59s, I think, is the lowest grade I can put in, um, even if you don't do it. But um, still, that's, that's going to hurt you if I put in a 59. So work through those problems and um, make sure you get them submitted for all the new stuff as well. But the old stuff can be done at any time. These are the ones that I'm going to be working on today, posting. So you can go back and re redo anything. Um, just to recap on that, the... Grades for those, all, all the grades in quarter four up until May 1st can still be made up. I just want to make sure that was in writing. Um, you have unlimited attempts and nothing is penalized for being submitted late. So really just, just when you get a chance, work out anything that's, that I've posted since the quarter began. That way you can get that uh, grade up. I can only put in 80 or above. So if you um, did an assignment, maybe you got a 50 on it. Um, can't put that in. So you can redo it. And if you get an 80 or higher, then, then I can put that grade in the grade book. I'm, I, it's not something I can just simply sync up to the power school. I have to manually enter those in because Canvas uh, grades don't necessarily reflect what I'm put, putting in power school. I can show um, mastery or partial mastery with the grades in power school. And Canvas is just going to give you a straight percent. Same with Delta Math. So, um, be patient as I enter these grades in. If you have any questions about what it does for your average, let me know. I'm trying to help you out. Everybody should have the opportunity to improve the grade significantly through all this work. And I want to make sure that you take advantage of that because you, you're never probably going to get this opportunity again. So I hope you have a great day. Please let me know if you have any questions um, through text, remind, email, however you can do that.